Hey guys, what's up? TTM Mike here, coming at you with uh, two eBay pickups and a couple of TTM returns. So the first thing I picked up was this Texas Ranger, 1970 Texas Rangers sign. So uh, a few months, two two years ago, I did a video. I started a project. I found two years ago, I found this exact same. Uh, it's like cardboard. It's made out of cardboard. This cardboard sign at a flea market, I paid five bucks for it. So I started sending it out to former Texas Rangers. So I had a few Texas Rangers on this uh, sign. If you go back into my his the history of my videos to 2019, you'll see I had about eight or nine Texas Rangers on. I had um, Billy Sample. I had uh, Tom Grief. I had Bobby Witt. Bobby Valentine, I had Charlie Howe, Frank Tanana, I had Mike Cubbage, and I think uh, Frank Lucchese. So I had about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight autographs on this already. So I send it out to Chris Davis, the former Baltimore Oriole. He was signing. He was a former Ranger, and he was signing. I sent it to him in 2019. Never came back. I don't know. He I sent it to his home. Maybe he threw it away. Maybe he sold it. Maybe he framed it up. Whatever. I don't know. All I know is it never came back to me. So, yeah, I was ticked off by that. But what can he do? That's a, that's the name of the game in the TTM game. If you you can't afford to lose something, don't send it. Those are the chances we take. And uh, that's the way it goes. So, yeah, was I upset by it? I sure was, man. I had nine autographs. I think... Tom Grieve and Bobby Witt don't even sign anymore for free. Those were all free TTM autographs I got. So, uh, make a long story short, I'm going to attempt to send it out again and uh, see what happens. Maybe I could get back up to nine. So, wish me luck. I'm going to try this again. So, first one I'm going to send it to is Frank Lucchese. He's up there in age. I don't even know if he's still alive. I have to Google him. He was a former Texas Rangers manager. So that's the first thing. And then I picked up this Ben Ogilvy. It was two bucks. He's got his autograph there. He went to the World Series with the Milwaukee Brewers in 82. They lost to the cards. So I picked this up for two, two bucks free shipping. Ben Ogilvy. So I have a, a upper deck, like 8 by 10 with, uh, I think, George Bamberger's autograph is on it. And then I got Raleigh Fingers to sign it. So I'm trying to get some players from that old 82 World Series team to frame around the 8x10. So Ben Ogilvy. And uh, then I'll just get to the TTMs now. So I received this TTM from former Laker Hall of Famer Gail Goodrich. He lives in Idaho, and he took about a week and a half. Then I received this one back. Let me see who this is for. Yeah, I received this back in the mail. Came back from San Bernardino, California. So what I did was I sent this out to Fred the Hammer Williamson. Uh, he played for the Oakland Raiders, but he's mostly known for his acting skills. He was in a, a lot of black exploitation movies, but he was in Dusk Till Dawn. So he did not sign my stuff. Right? He did not sign my football card, and he did not sign my autograph card. The weird thing was this envelope came back unsealed. It came back like this. As you can see, there's the peel off. <laughs> and, uh, I was amazed that these cards made it back to me like that. So that's a failure, Mr. Frank. The Hammer Williamson. I sent it out to him because I heard he was signing, so I won't send it out again to him. I will not be sending back out to him. And then I received a two of two success from former Portland Trailblazers, and then he went on to coach several teams, but he signed it Lionel Holland's 1977 NBA champs, number 14. I guess he put in his number 14 was retired. So glad he added the inscriptions usually uh normally they just sign their names but i always request i've been sending a couple of uh, portland trailblazers out i got a uh, dave twarzik not too long ago and uh now i just got 
Lionel Williams. He was a point guard. He was pretty good back in his days. And he also signed this one for me. Lionel Hollins, 1977 NBA champs, number 14, retired. So thank you, Mr. Lionel Hollins. Uh, I got another one here. Where's this coming from? Okay, this is coming back from Mr. Paul Coker. Mr. Paul Coker is an artist. And what I did was I sent this to him and I asked him if he could sign, uh, draw a, a, a little... He's an artist, so I wanted him to draw one of his cartoons. I forget which cartoon he drew. To draw his cartoon figure here and then sign it. But I don't know. He's up there in age, I believe. He's almost 100 years old. And uh, so he just signed his autograph. That's good enough. I'll take it. Thank you, Mr. Paul Coker. And the next one is coming back from former New York Met, Jay Hook. I didn't realize I already had him. So I sent out to him. And uh, he sent it back to me. So he signed this. Jay Hook, first Mets win. He was the first Met pitcher to record a win in the history of the franchise. So he signed the Jay Hook, first Mets win, 4-23-62. And he signed this one. Jay Hook, first Mets win, 4-23-62. I wish I had a, a tops card of him, of his which uh, I would have preferred sending that out to him, but I don't. I have a huge collection of Met cards, and I did not have a J-Hook. But thank you, Mr. Hook. Thank you, kind sir, for signing 2 of 2 success. This took about a, a week. And last but not least, I have one more coming back from... Uh, where is this coming back from? San Jose, California. It is coming back from the champ... If you guys watch the on July 4th, they have the Nathan's Coney Island contest. And this is uh, the champ. Joey Chestnut, he signed two of two. Uh, actually, he included this. I sent him just this one because I, I knew he was uh, one per. So he is the champ. He stuffs all those hot dogs. I forget what number he was. Last year, but he, he ate a lot of hot dogs. Pretty nasty contest. They dipped the hot dog bun and hot dog in water just to make it pliable and stuff it down, stuff it down their throats. Uh, I think water should be outlawed, outlawed in that contest. Then you'd see them go down to maybe 50 hot dogs. It's pretty gross, that contest. But he is the champ, Joey Chestnut. And I sent him a request and he signed my picture. And I'm glad he sent me this because this is a much, much better looking picture. Joey Chestnut Eats. See this? I got this image off the internet and didn't cut the resolution wasn't very good. So, uh, yeah, man. I posed a question. I, I asked him. <laughs> I asked him a question of, uh, wondering if he would answer for me. I, I wrote down, what the hell does that crap look like after the contest? And obviously he did not answer that one. So, And then he says, thanks for reaching out. I have the best fans in the world. I am truly thankful for people like you who always push me to be my best. Without you, my world records would have never been possible. Joey Chestnut. Eat. There he is with some hot dogs, and I guess he promotes those products there. Oh, yeah, it's like Joey Chestnut mustard and ketchup. And Joey Chestnut something. Power drink. I don't know what it is. Oh, here we go. So it's uh, if you if you like to try some awesome sauces created, please visit joeychestnut.com and enter the coupon JAWS to get an extra 10% off and free shipping on orders over 20. Thanks for your support, Joey Chestnut Eat. So I was hoping he'd answer my letter and telling me, <laughs> just answering my question, but what the hell that release would look look like after eating over 100 hot dogs and i don't know i guess it was too gross of a question for him i don't know sounded funny to me would have been great to get an answer but thank you mr joey chestnut i appreciate it thank you kind sir and thank you guys for tuning in i really appreciate it if you like this video please by all means give it a like if this is your first time here, please subscribe, man. This is the kind of stuff I love doing. I can't find any more boxes out in the wild anymore. I refuse to stand online for eight hours to get a uh, blaster box. You know, I'm not doing that. Uh, God bless all you guys out there. Isaac does it. I think uh, uh, the Buff Man does it. 
They go into Targets and uh, Walgreens, a couple of other guys out there that do it, wait in those long lines. I do not have the patience to stand online for eight hours just to maybe get a, a few Velocity hanger packs. No way. I'm not going to do that. But uh, yeah, when I can get one, and my niece picked one up and her boyfriend picked one up for me recently. I paid them, and but I just haven't. I told them not to send it to the mail. When I go visit them in Pennsylvania, I'll pick it up. It was a Topps of Series. It was a box of Top Series One baseball, and I refused to go to. I used to go to Dave and Edwards and and uh, uh, not Dave and Edwards. Dave and Adams. I used to go to Steel City Collectibles or Blowout Cards, but they want an arm and a leg also, and uh, and a testicle. And I just can't afford to lose an arm and a leg or a testicle, so I won't be ordering off of their websites anymore, and I definitely, definitely will not buy it off of eBay when I know these guys picked up a blaster box for $19.99, and now they want $80 for it. No way, Jose. No thank you. I'll pass. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you for uh, watching. Hit the like button. I really appreciate it, man. Sometimes I get 100 views and 3 likes. Come on, now. It's crazy. So anyway, that's it for me tonight, guys. Uh, next time anything ends up in my mailbox, I post it. I uh, really appreciate you guys who leave a comment and check out my videos all the time. So that's it for tonight. That is all. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you all next time something ends up in my mailbox. Thanks for tuning in once again. Take care, everybody. God bless. Peace.